already like i'm super excited to see like what this is going to be about so they got a whole page here let's dig in and let's see what the details are on this particular thing and when is it going to be available all of that good stuff like that okay here's the details so it's not going to be available until 5 23 which is later on this month in may and then it looks like you get one month free and 4.99 a month or 49 dollars annually so it's kind of crazy that they're going to the subscription based thing uh 4.99 a month 50 bucks a year or what have you it's not a whole lot of money but uh when you think about it like where does that put us as people who are diehard like i've owned logic since like 2000 no logic 9 so like 2010 i've been i've been a logic owner i bought logic pro x when it came out because that was a different buy from logic 9 and so yeah like i've been in the logic game for like a minute like over a decade so like where does that put us as regular logic users like do we have to keep paying this 4.99 a month let's scroll the page to see if there's any more information about that because that's kind of that's kind of whack i mean i know everybody's doing the uh, subscription thing and maybe they're treating this as a brand new product i guess even though it's like supposed to be logic but that's kind of fire so here's something that looks kind of crazy. Maybe we're looking here at something called Beat Breaker. I don't know if that's like a different instrument that they're gonna have, or if that's just something uh, that's built in because I see it down here, it says Beat Breaker as well. So maybe that's gonna be a new instrument that's introduced. Are they gonna have it on i? Oh, GarageBand. I almost got confused there because I was about to say they're gonna have it on iPhone as well, but no, like they're gonna, so you can import from GarageBand. That's what they're saying. Like you can import from there into like, that's kind of crazy. You got the mixer there. That's fire. That color scheme, which is, you know, more akin to the GarageBand version of iPad. Yeah, fresh sound packs. Uh, that was expected that, you know, I kind of saw a preview of that uh, before, you know, what Logic was doing, you know, with the latest update, you know, they kind of expected that that's going to be what the subscription thing is about. Sample alchemy. Let's see what happens when we play here. There's no sound, it's just like a gif. So you can sample alchemy. So it looks like they're bringing in the quick sampler and the multi sampler in there. That's going to be fire for a lot of different things. Yeah, so this is going to be something new Beat Breaker. Time and pitch morphing functions of Beat Breaker let you swipe and pinch to radically reshape and shuffle sounds. Interesting. All right. No matter all the times you ignore the same as before, it's alright. No matter all no, no, the times That's crazy. I think this is one of the coolest parts right here though, is leveling up your mix, like having the mixer there with faders and it looks like you're gonna be able to multi-touch, like drag multiple faders in and out. That's gonna be pretty cool. So here's a little bit more on the mixer. Oh, it's, just a, it's just a graphic, there's no sound. Ooh, that's fire. Track stacks, as you would expect, one of the key features of Logic is gonna be in there. So pro workflows, that means you're gonna be able to go from Mac to iPad, creating the studio. But I wonder if you'll be able to go from like iPad to Mac Mac to iPad, that would be like very, you know, very interesting. Audio unit extensions, looks like you'll be able to get in some, um, I guess, third party stuff. How much does Logic cost? Uh, available monthly subscription or for just $4.99, yearly $49. You can activate one month free trial after installing Logic Pro Lab. So it looks like, I mean, they didn't say anything about legacy users. Uh, A12, yep, yeah, you're gonna need 16.4 and at least an iPad with the A12 Bionic chip. So it looks like if you're gonna do uh, Logic on an iPad, you're gonna need at least an iPad Air third gen, which is this one. So if you have at least this iPad Air, you're probably gonna be good. Uh, it does not say how much space you're gonna need which I'm pretty sure is gonna be at least uh, a lot. You're probably gonna be able to run Logic on your iPad with the 64 gig version. You're probably gonna need at least a 256. 
So that's super dope either way. Logic is on the iPad. I'm pretty sure it's probably the same kind of specs for Final Cut if you're interested in that sort of thing. But like that kind of sucks that if you've been a Logic user like for over a decade, Apple ain't giving you no kind of love. They just said, hey, if you really want this for your iPad, um, you gotta jump in and you know pay us monthly fee for this because we're not just releasing it. Um, as is so you got to have that that really really sucks because we can as a logic user I can install logic on any device that I own I can install I have it on my iMac I have it on my MacBook I have it on my Mac mini I have it on like a couple of computers I got upstairs that my kids use uh, but now even with my iPad the M1 2020 joint that I got uh, I'm gonna have to pay Apple in order to get logic on here and that boys and girls really is the sucky thing about it But we'll see I'll try to get it as soon as it comes out and Play around with it and do a review on it when it drops. That's all I got for you guys today Make sure you hit the like button subscribe all of that yin yang jazz if you do it uh, We'll talk to you guys on the next video. I'm out. Holla at your boy